Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, I got the uh, this this uh, news headline of this uh, Powerpuff Girls series in development, and uh, basically this this uh, <laughs> I like the person who sends it to me. It's like inflicting punishment. <laughs> um, I, I'm not a big Powerpuff Girls stan or anything like that. It's uh, I was older uh, by the time they come out. It was a cute little idea. It was like this, you know, superhero girls and. Uh, it was what Glenn was really good at doing that kind of thing. Uh, but in this show, in this, uh, there, you know, this, this reboot or this, uh, reimagining, whatever it is, I think the headline says they're reimagining the Powerpuff Girls, but the idea is that it's going to be live action and the girls are now in their twenties and they're disillusioned by the fact that they lost their childhood because they were, you know, fighting monsters and criminals and things. And that they uh, they missed out on their childhood because they were being superheroes, and now they're in their twenties, and you know they they're gonna we're gonna deconstruct uh, their life, and that just sounds terrible. I, I'm sorry. I it, it's way it's weird. I think there's this this thing about you could take a popular property, and you can do a like a 15 years later, and then life's all crappy. It's kind of like uh, it, it, to me, it's this is what Saturday Night Live used to do bits about. It was like, hey, you know, what would what would happen to the Scooby Doo gang, and uh, you know, when they're hitting like the midlife crisis? That'd be funny, right? And they're all like, "Oh, they all suck," and everybody's you know, like, "Scooby is asking for Scooby snacks is super stupid now," and everybody's just angry at him and all the rest. And it would be a pretty funny four to five minute Saturday Night Live clip. The challenge is that's now what we're going to do for ongoing comic books or movies or TV shows. It's like what what was appropriate for five minutes has now become like the go-to for what to do with movies and with series. It's this idea of we're going to deconstruct. We're going to deconstruct the things you remember from your childhood. And it reminds me of, uh, and I probably see the only other segue before we get into the kind of meat of this, this whole video, but you'll see how it all relates. It reminds me of, uh, you know, my, my daughter has a ton of Legos. She absolutely loves them. She builds, she destroys, she builds, she destroys all the time. She's building up and destroying and she has this one friend who comes over, and his he he can only destroy. All he can do is take apart. She'll build castles and dragons and monsters and train tunnels and all this other stuff out of Legos. And he will come in, and he'll take the stuff apart. He likes smashing it. He loves to kind of see, I think, things that are a building, something that's nicely constructed. And he loves to deconstruct the Legos. He loves to just take them into tiny pieces but then he never builds anything up. And my daughter doesn't like him to come over and play because he's, uh, you know, he never builds anything, is her comment. He, he doesn't know how to build anything. And that feels like a very on-the-nose analogy to kind of the, the problem with deconstruction in, in movies and shows and in comics. It's like, if your only skill is deconstruction, and... It, eventually you've deconstructed everything. Eventually you're just left with a bunch of Lego pieces all over the place and nothing is actually built up. You have no, you have nothing to deconstruct. You know, this, this kid who my daughter doesn't like playing with, uh, he doesn't ever contribute to actually building anything worth de deconstructing. He has no, he doesn't know how to do it. And it strikes me that if we look over several of the runs and we look over several of the creators, we are and we have been for at least the last 10 years in comics. We've been stuck with this mentality of take it apart, not put it together. And the problem is we're running out of things to put back together. And unfortunately, I mean, take a look at Iron Man, for example. Iron Man is a, is a character that has been a mess for a long time. But there's this brief period. Uh, and I didn't love this storyline, just to be clear. But there's a brief period where you had Tony Stark, and he was uh, he was he was doing his Civil War thing, and he was working for Shield, and his like Tony Stark was head of Shield, and and he was on top of the world, and and basically it was a new facet to his character and everything else. And then of course, you set this stuff up so you could take it apart. So then uh, Norman Osborn comes in, and Tony Stark's life is is put undone. He's he actually is losing his memories. He's, um, they're deconstructing Tony. In fact, I think even the, uh, deconstructing <laughs> Iron Man was kind of the, the whole thing, or it's, you know, it, it actually before that is Bendis's Avengers disassemble, you know, or, you know, it's, was it disassemble, disassembled? I, I don't know. Deconstructed, disassembled. It becomes the same thing. But the challenge with that is after we got, you know, Matt Fraction disassembling Iron Man, 
we get Kieran Gillian who comes in and reveals that he's not a true Stark and they deconstruct a little bit more. And then we have Bendis come on and he deconstructs Tony Stark again. And, you know, then we get Dan Slott and he deconstructs Stark again. And we get, you know, I think James Robinson was in there for like a half minute. Uh, but, but it's like these runs, all they know how to do is deconstruct. And so when the runs begin, They've got to artificially just kind of be like, hey, here's Tony Stark. He's super rich, playboy, very smart. Look, he's he's kind of cocky. You remember Robert Downey Jr.? Just just remember that character. Remember how that, that character just has it all going on? He's awesome. Man, they're screwed now, by the way, with Iron Man runs now that, that you know Robert Downey Jr. is not doing the character anymore. It's <laughs> just they're hosed. But anyway, it is it becomes this and each time it's it's more shallow because we're not building anything we're just just deconstructing we're just taking it apart and when the new creator comes on it's like well i'm ready with my deconstruction story and it's like well sorry all the lego pieces are all over nothing has been built up and i go crap well let's just kind of you know half assemble the character back to what i vaguely remember a complete character to be but then by issue three we're going to be right back in deconstructing so you have this new iron man series and we're coming off of iron man uh, by Dan Slott and Iron Man 2020. And uh, and it, it sucks. This Iron Man run is terrible. The new one. This is a, the, with the Christopher Cantwell. Caldwell. Uh, it, it's just a terrible run. It's because immediately it's like, hey, we're taking Tony Stark back to his roots. I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's interesting. Oh, you don't mean take him back to his roots. You mean we're going to have him like wander around as a pathetic loser. And now we've actually brought in an, a, another comic character. It's like it, it's like the deconstruction has gotten so stupid that now you know it, we're not trusting the reader to recognize that the character has been deconstructed anymore. We've got to bring in Hellcat to tell you that he sucks. He the, we've got and by the way, this isn't a I, I've seen some of the pushback like ah it's just a bunch of dude bros you don't like women. I, no, you could put James, you could put Rhodey in this, you could put Cap, you could put Namor, you put any male, female, whatever it is. You've got this annoying character, gender is irrelevant, who is just, you know, basically there to point out to the readers that Tony Stark sucks and he, he's being deconstructed. And the reason they have to have the character in there doing that is because they've deconstructed Tony so much that nobody remembers Iron Man when he was an actual, you know, fully formed, competent, good hero. All he's been is deconstruction for a decade. It's been constant deconstruction. Look at Tom King, and people were very excited by Vision. It's like, oh, it's a deconstruction of Vision. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen that before. All right, we're excited about it. What do we do to follow it up? Let's deconstruct Mr. Miracle. Let's deconstruct Adam Strange. Let's deconstruct Batman. At some point, it's like, "Eh, the only trick you've got in your bag here is to take things apart. You have become the kid my daughter doesn't like to play with. All you do is you come over. You take the Legos that somebody else has built up and you take them apart. And eventually what you find is nobody wants you to come over and play anymore. Or you're just sitting there with a giant table full of, you know, Legos. And you've never learned how to actually put the pieces back together. And I think this is potentially a major problem right now facing a lot of things in comics. We have a lot of people who all they know how to do is deconstruct. All they know how to do is take things apart. And they, they haven't figured out how to put things back together. Who knows? Maybe this Powerpuff Girls at 20 disillusioned with their kid superhero years will be amazing. Uh, it's possible. But again, doesn't that feel like a bit that should have been on SNL? Doesn't that feel like a five-minute skit where like we learned that like one of the Powerpuff Girls is like a you know got pregnant too young and the other one's a uh, lesbian now and the other one is just is is try to hold it together, but has become like a super Karen yelling at people for watching birds in a park. I mean, and uh, everybody would laugh. It's like, oh, look at these three, you know, characters who suck now. They got old and they suck. That, that's, that's an SNL bit. That's, that, that's what that is. So why, why, you know, it, it, it is, again, it's like people were growing up watching SNL and we're like, oh, that's funny. I should do an entire season of that. I should do an entire show of that. I should make a movie of that. I should write a comic book of that. And that that's what we're getting now. That's all they know how to do. It's just deconstruct. But if you if you only deconstruct and you never 
construct, <laughs> then you, you, you're left with nothing. Eventually, there's nothing more to deconstruct. All you've got is pieces all over the table. And and to me, I, I feel like if there's uh, if there's one thing that you can point out about comics right now, it's that they've gone like like an addictive drug. They've gone to deconstruction over and over and over and over. And now there is they've lost. It's, it's they've lost like the muscle memory of how to actually build back up again. The only way they know how to build back up is that we got to tear it completely down. And then we'll somehow kind of, you know, reassemble it. But it's clear a lot of these writers, they love the deconstruction. They don't like the they don't like to build back up again. Tom King does not like to build things back up again. He likes to take them apart. In his comics, when you see kind of this half-hearted attempt to to put it back up, it always feels super hollow. You look at Mr. Miracle, that that kind of, oh no, it's not so bad. It's it like you know, you can always tell like he's like, Well, I'm getting to the end of the story, and I guess I gotta figure out some kind of happy ending here somehow. I mean, I, I mean, sure. That's how it fits. His Batman run ended with the most half-hearted, well, I guess we'll try it. I mean, the, the, the big heroic moment is that Bruce is having a beer uh, with Kite Man in a bar. And that's like, that's, that's meant to be our uplifting moment at the end. I mean, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. It's a nice moment, but that's not creation. That's, we deconstructed and we kind of, took everybody off suicide watch for the last issue. Yay. And it's telling that, you know, we get right into bat cat and it's like, how do we kick off that series? Bruce is dead. I mean, it's just, that's it's it, the, the deconstruction addiction is, is exhausting. And so I'm interested, like, like, can we get for this next 18 years, this next crop of whatever comics are going to be, can we get more creation? I mean, I, I, you know, if you, if it just, we can't take everything apart all the time. Eventually there's nothing left to take apart. It's just all apart. And we, we don't, you know, this, this kid, I don't know if this friend, my daughter plays with is just dumb and has no idea of how to put Legos together, but you kind of get that feeling. He either has no interest or has no ability. One or the other. Both suck. My daughter likes playing with the other kid to build things. I'm just saying kids are Kids are genius. Anyway, what do you think? Deconstruction. Good? Bad? Tired of it? Gone so well too much? How do you like this Lego analogy? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Uh, all my contact information is in the description to this video. Thanks for listening.